everyone welcome back to Skeleton Bushcraft and Survival glad you could join us I'm out here with my son and we're getting ready to make a small little shelter nice quick and easy easy to throw up and all that good stuff nice little campfire set up for the night would you like to say hi hi <laughs> come on with us let's get going come on little buddy Cordage, fibrous cordage. Let's go ahead and get them separated and laid out. Tree bark in a cordage. Natural cordage is all over the place. And tree bark 
is a nice fiber. A lot of different trees produce uh, fibers. Uh, cambium, that works really well. Just remember that when you are looking for a tree that you want to make cordage out of, if you break the tree and the tree is uh, like a limb, if you break a limb and the limb itself snaps easy, the cord, the, the, uh, the cambium, the, the bark of the tree, is going to be good for cordage. Nine times out of ten. Very rare is that not the case. Because the bark itself is what's holding the strength of the tree. If you bend a limb and it doesn't want to break, but the, uh, the bark itself will, you know, split, then that's not good for cordage. And I wouldn't go with that. But anyways... I'm using bark off of a tree and uh, it's pawpaw which makes a really excellent cordage. I'm going to use 550 to put the shelter together but if I needed to I could use natural cordage and it's really strong. All right, so I've got my picture frame, if you will, strapped together, half lap with, uh, I did a, uh, a clove hitch with a cross uh, wrap on it to hold all those together. I got my center here so that when the tarp lays over, it's got some stability in the middle. Like I said before, you can use natural cordage it is very strong I'm gonna go ahead and put it here and here once I get the tarp on then we'll go ahead and stake it out and then that will be done the shelter part and then make up a little bed up underneath there a fire in front we'll be good to go for a night in total, it take it took about, well, it will end up taking, because I only have about five more minutes of this right here. It will end up taking overall about half hour to throw it together. It's a lot quicker than some of your uh, lean-tos. And this is just for one night, but it will hold up just fine for one night. Now, we've got our stake tip. Now this part right here is gonna go underground, okay? Do that on both sides, okay? Right in the middle, we just go around it to make ourselves a little mark to let us know where we are, what center is, and then we're gonna notch in. Now what we're notching in for is because this is where it's gonna break. And if we don't notch it in, then this area right here when we're hammering it in the ground can split down to wood. So by notching it in, and you'll see when I'm break it, what I mean and it, get, it it just makes the wood around that point a little stronger okay yeah. now once we go all the way around it we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go this direction back to the center see how that big like chunk comes out Once we do that all the way around, we've got our center, that part's done, and we need to have a place to hold our cordage. Now that's gonna be a bird's beak or a number seven. And I like to use a bird's beak opposed to a number seven because a number seven is just shaped like a number seven. You know, it's straight this way and straight this way. Where the bird's beak sticks down like this right here and gives something to slide up underneath there, you know, to grab and hold. So, how you do that right there, is you exit like this and you come back and you come this direction like this okay now we've got the center part marked yep. we've got both of our bird's beaks yep, cut yep, yep, yep. we've got both of our stake tips yeah. there all right yeah. now it's just to break now I like to kind of score this a little bit before I break it like this just roll it not really putting too much force on it 
just letting it roll and that way when I snap it see mm -hmm. okay now this part right here just finish it off like this Yeah. All right. And then this one right here, I'm going to do the same thing. See? Yeah. All right. Now we are ready to stick this to the ground. Can I stick it to it? Yeah. What do I stick it to? <laughs> Eager to do it, though, aren't you? You're going to have to hold that with one hand. Hold it like this and hammer down on it like that right there. You need to hold it up like this right here. And with this hand, hold it down there. Like that? Yeah. Tell me when to stop, okay? Uh, okay. Well, here we have it. I didn't show it staked in the back, but of course it is staked in the back. Staked on all four corners. In the back, two, one on each side and one right in the middle. And uh, got a nice little fire going. Feeling a lot of heat. You feeling the heat off that fire? Yeah, I am too. So uh, definitely keep us warm during that, but throughout the night. Of course, gather up more firewood and stuff like that. That's kind of self-explanatory, but Got a little bit of a pile there to keep it going. But here it is, a nice little shelter. Nice, quick and easy throw up. Just picture frame, one center, tarp over. It's good to go. Takes about, I'd say a half hour to fix all together. Uh, the longest time that it takes is gathering it up and of course the half laps. That's it, the cordis goes together pretty easy. So, uh, and my little buddy out here with me. It's fun. Would you like to say bye? Bye-bye. See you next time. <laughs> Remember, nature, it does provide. I love it. Yep, nature, it does provide. Bye-bye. Well, that, that's going to be it for today. Thank Good you very much. Bye. Okay, that's enough. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. And like he said, nature, it does provide. And also, subscribe and leave a like. And tap on the bell. <laughs> see more. And then it will turn up in, into more bells. <laughs> All and right. then comment down, and comment down below. I love it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.